Okay, so here's the thing. If you ever tried to reframe 360 camera footage in Premiere, you probably encountered this. Basically, it's impossible to move the frame around single axis without introducing some weird twist. Oh well, I can use the sliders, you might think. And you would be right, except tiny detail. This is a gimbal system, so when one axis changes, the rest of them is changing too. For example, at Yo0, pitch slider means up and down. Now, what do you expect it to do if I'm looking 90 degrees to the left? Pitch should still be up and down, right? Well, no. Pitch slider is now rolling around the center of the screen. And if you try any angle in between, the same slider is doing some up-down and some rotating, but now off-center. So, let's say we want to look down at the ground now, 45 degrees, and rotate around while looking down. Nope, the O slider won't do this, because its parent axis was changed to 45 in the gimbal. This means precise rotating on single axis is not possible. Well, kind of, because you can do angry flicking until you get it right, and that's just, well... Enter reframe controls. It's an overlay for GoPro effect. Now you can look around in FPS-like manner, keeping frame level and your sanity intact. Let's use some overlays to show it better. So. Simply looking around is always kept in line with horizon. Holding control key locks the rotation axis to horizontal movement only. Similar, holding shift will lock it to vertical movement. Holding both control and shift rotates around the center of the frame. Now, if you need to look relative to frame edges, it's alt control for side to side movement and alt shift for up and down movement. Holding out by itself is for zooming in and out. The second feature is custom shortcuts for keyframing. You can press A to go to previous keyframe, D to go to next keyframe, and W to reset keyframe to initial position. You can also use X, C and V as cut, copy and paste. If you also use mouse wheel to move playhead around, you can do most of the keyframing without leaving preview window at all. That's about it regarding features. Now, there are some things you should know if you want to buy this plugin. Premiere API is somewhat limited, so there are some obstacles here. Number one, all plugin actions, so all shortcuts and image dragging, work only if the reframe controls effect is selected here and the preview window is focused. Premiere has this annoying behavior where I'm working on a clip with effect selected, I select another clip, and when I come back it's not selected anymore, so dragging does nothing. Anyway, this happens for every effect including GoPro's reframe, so it's not really my plugin limitation, just the way Premiere works. Number two, undoing Premiere simply doesn't work with scripting, period. Because of it, I built separate plugin level undo. Simply press Z without control to undo plugin actions and Shift Z to redo them. This custom plugin undo remembers only actions made by the plugin gestures and shortcuts and only on a single clip. This means if you modify clip keyframes outside of preview window, the plugin undo history will be gone. Same thing if you start keyframing another clip with the plugin. Otherwise, if you're working within one clip using only plugin gestures and shortcuts, this custom undo and redo will work just fine. To install it, first make sure you have GoPro Reframe plugin working. Since it's free and works with current version of Premiere, it shouldn't be a problem. Then you can buy my plugin on Adobe Exchange and install it from there. Links for both down below in the description of video. After installing, restart Premiere. Then, to open panel, click Window, Extensions, Reframe Controls, and allow for network permissions. This is only to connect plugin panel and video effect. Nothing is ever being sent to or received from your PC. Video effect can be found in here by typing Reframe. Grab both, throw them on video, and you're good to go.
Hopefully, I made your keyframing experience a little less horrible. If you're still here, I have a funny story to tell. <laughs> well, kinda. I'm an indie Android dev with some background in videography. I really hated the UX of 360 editing in Premiere, so I thought, well, did a change you want to see? So I dove into Adobe Docs, undusted my JavaScript and C++, and after quite a bit of work, this plugin was done. Initially, I planned to build Mac-compatible version, then After Effects one, but things happened. Namely, right when I was finishing this movie and literally a week before my release, GoPro released their new plugin. It's called Reframe FX as opposed to VR, and it aims to solve the same problem. Go check it out, I put the link in the description. There's some nice stuff in there, like setting lens curvature, but also some bloat that can be easily done in Premiere itself. Like the second camera feature that can be easily done with opacity mask. I suspect this bloat is the reason it works like this. Well, the old plugin with my overlay works like that. Also, it doesn't have any shortcuts and you can't lock axis or drag to zoom and rotate. You have to go to the sliders to do that. Nevertheless, it's a killer for my project because it's free. But I decided to release it anyway for a few bucks because who knows. Maybe you need axis locking or drag to zoom, or maybe you simply like the do everything in preview mindset. Or maybe your PC is quite slow and you prefer simpler but faster solution. Thanks for watching.